For many, many years, the people of Mandera County in northern Kenya have almost entirely relied on pastoralism. They have for generations been very proud nomadic pastoralists, keeping large herds of domestic animals, including camels, goats, sheep and cows. But today, the times have changed, the weather patterns are no longer the same, and Mandera, a vast, dry and semi-arid region, with most areas lacking permanent water sources, is experiencing severe recurrent droughts. The situation has been made worse by frequent inter-clan conflicts that have led to huge losses of lives and livestock, massive destruction of property, and severely affected these pastoralist communities' way of life and forced them to abandon their settlements and migrate to far distances in search of pasture and water for their livestock. Although this has severely disrupted the lives of these pastoralists, the people most affected by all these are women and children who have been forced to move from their villages and settle in abject poverty on the outskirts of Mandera town. Concerned by this sad situation and determined to help these women become self-reliant and be able to take their children to school, Women for Peace and Development, a local community-based organization that addresses the welfare and needs of marginalized women in Mandera County, with funding from the American Jewish World Service, AJWS, provided emergency food aid distribution for six months during the drought period, and after the drought was over, introduced unique projects that this pastoralist community had never imagined would be possible. Chicken rearing and greenhouse farming. These projects came up as a result of participatory community disaster risk assessment process because they are drought resilient and promote community livelihood to cope with the challenges and risks of persistent drought emergencies. This was also to enable this community recover from the shocks of drought, empower these marginalized women socioeconomically and also build the community's resilience to droughts in future. We came together and saw that uh, this uh, poultry farming was something which is uh, drought resilient. The women could, could be empowered on this if we start for them. At least they will get the, the something on food on the table and at the same time they will get money in the pocket. So we decided uh, to select some groups and give them the poultry farming. This was uh, solely to empower the women. Although this project was planned to start in early 2012, it was briefly put on hold, largely due to the severe drought and inter-clan violence that was being experienced in Mandera County at the time. The heightened political atmosphere and tensions due to the March 2013 national general election also made implementation of the project practically impossible. The chicken rearing and greenhouse farming project successfully took off in May 2013 with the targeted women across Mandera town and its environs coming together and forming different women groups. We thought that it could be the easiest project which could support these women at the same time might not affect the drought like the, the other livestock. Today across Mandera town, these women beneficiaries are proud chicken farmers and are happy to be pioneers in positively changing the way their community has lived for generations by introducing new sources of food. Since yet as a man to look out of Hugo and for Savavia drought mingi na disasters, since you are in a mama and our total to the Gia town, so that to Leona, him ready pier in a trade of Zuru Kavira to Leona, him ready in a Turaisha, or a total was some, na Haina Casimingi. To ensure that this project is successful, staff from Women for Peace and Development visit these women on a regular basis and has also availed a poultry consultant to help them run a profitable project. We have been giving the, what is supposed to be required, the basic routines that are required in poultry management. This is disease control, vaccination, debicking, uh, general cleanliness of the, the house, uh, space and watering, all these uh, factors uh, uh, is what we have been training them right from the inception date. A few months since the project was implemented, there is every sign that it is set to become an important economic activity, especially for women in Mandera County, 
who have traditionally been marginalized and will empower them economically and enable them generate their own income, feed their children on a balanced diet, and greatly reduce cases of malnutrition in the region. This has made them, you know, uh, get money. At the same time, when they, they, they need meat, they can at the same time buy from the group, cook for their children. And uh, each woman is now very proud because they know at least they have something. And as the groups, they have become the role model of this town because they were the first groups and the first women who have started using this poultry and uh, supplying the whole town with eggs. Acknowledging the huge potential of chicken rearing to transform this nomadic but poor community into a self-reliant and food-secure society, a number of learning institutions with the help of AJWS funds are also embracing chicken kipping and the results are turning out to be simply amazing. Take for example, Moy Girls Secondary School in Mandera County, which has embraced poultry keeping as a role modeling for young women in school. The community which lives around here are predominantly pastoralists. They move from one place to another with the animals. So we found it out that uh, if you introduce it now at this level with these girls, especially women who are normally marginalized, at least one day when they leave this school, they can have uh, they can think about uh, the poultry, they, see, they saw it in the school and uh, put it into, into use. And uh, the other issue is, uh, uh, since uh, we started this poultry, because of its nutritive value, we normally have uh, two days in a week, where they normally feed on uh, the eggs from the poultry farm we have in the, in the school. And the students are very appreciative and uh, happy. This poultry project has helped us as a student. We can rear it while we are studying and like uh, when, we are, when we are rearing uh, livestock because we, ha we have to take care about them and go to the, uh, to the bush taking care of them. While this one, while we, can, we can keep it in a place and uh, give, give them the necessary feeds and at the same time go to class and study. I will encourage the youth to practice this thing because it is cheap and also they, can, they grow fast and they, they bring a lot of income to the community. As the project creates excitement across the Mandera County, more women are joining the project and the county government of Mandera has fully embraced and recognized the initiative's potential to completely change the face of the county. We are taking it very positively and uh, it is having actually a lot of multiplier effect. Our people have started eating eggs, they have started taking chicken. Let's talk of cows, camels and sheep. When there is drought, they have to move to another place, but for the chicken uh, poultry, they'll just stay in that same place. If, even if a girl is handling that, she'll still attend to her school and she'll keep uh, the chicken and she'll be able to develop economically by selling the eggs. Although the project is proving to be a success and has largely been accepted and appreciated in Mandera County, it is also facing a number of challenges that need to be addressed urgently. <laughs> أو فائدة وانكيه للهن لكن يدب كوحوا أي مركه رهاية دينا كالمسي أو ومن في بيس وحين لو ودي أي وحي أو وحنا لوك يعني هل هبين بس اللي ما نقدرنا هل هبين بس جوجانا أنا لوك يعني وحي أو دقالين تودي أنا نقول سبتة هاي دب بدن مركان كلا كلنا أو لقب سنة أو دلس بلاودي لح بلاود جا أنت نقول هاي سك بعد عيدي ويجو جس راشين كين سين سيو دقاليه أي هاي س مركا the other big challenge was the implementation of the very ambitious greenhouse farming project for these women groups along the seasonal river Daua, whose source is in the highlands of Ethiopia. The project was very successful during the initial stages, thanks to the free-flowing water from river Daua, 
but the project became unsustainable when the river dried up during the months of December through to March, thus starving the project of the much-needed water for irrigation. Faced with a tough decision, Women for Peace and Development opted to give the project a break. As Women for Peace and Development in close partnership with these women groups and the county government of Mandera seek effective ways to overcome these generational challenges, today, chicken rearing, both as an economic activity, especially for women, and an alternative source of food security is quickly being accepted across the county of Mandera. We want to build the women resilience. We want to build that resilience so that uh, women can help themselves. And indeed, we at Mandera Women for Peace and Development are very proud of American Jewish World Service support that has enabled us to help this community during the severe drought and then recovery period and initiate a unique and important project that is set to positively change our community's way of life forever.